Were most of the people that you met in there in there for drugs? I would say 90% of the people. 90%. I, yeah, are in there because they were doing drugs, selling drugs, or, you know, were caught up in some type Mostly of... Mostly pills? Uh, I mean, yeah, pills were big, I think, more <clears throat> at that time uh, in, like, the white, white trash, the, you know, white suburban... That was really where the pills like really started to like, you mm -hmm. know, destroy that community. And right. then I think over time they, you know, in the ghetto started getting them because back then, you know, you didn't go to the, the ghetto to buy pills or the hood or whatever you want to call it. Right. You know, you would go to <laughs> fucking Matt's house in Innersbrook mm -hmm. and his dad <laughs> would have a script. Yeah. And that's how it, it kind of went yeah. for a while. And then the next thing you know, like it just was everywhere, man. Like there was like. Yeah, man, it was crazy. Like watching that documentary and seeing all the fucked yeah. up people, like all like the fucking the picture of those two people, the parents in their car, like slumped over, passed yeah, out. I saw that. And the kid is awake in the car seat in the back. Yeah. Like, that's Jesus sad, bro. fucking Christ. I'm like, this isn't a very good argument for uh, legalize all drugs. Hmm. No. I was like, whoa, how the fuck does this work? Right, like, but those were <laughs> legal drugs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. They were that's perfectly the legal that's drugs. That's the fucked up part. And yeah. that's what they were doing. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Usually it's when they make drugs illegal and there's a whole underground, you know, illegal right. fucking market for them with cartels and whatever it is. That's usually how the bad shit happens. And this is completely legal. There's These are doctors that are giving people all these drugs and this is what's happening. Yeah. All for money, man. Mm -hmm. You saw it. Was it was all about money. Yeah. yeah. Purdue was like literally lying. Like they weren't even telling no, the truth. Oh, yeah. Like, they were passing, like, you know, they'd have to go get this drug tested. They're paying off the dude testing them, and you, we don't know the long-term effects, and now you see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now we're, you know, 10, 15 years later, and usually somebody you know is either an addict or they know an addict, and it will... And, it's just they're everywhere, man. The cr one of the crazy things about that whole Purdue thing was in 2007, I think it was when they had to pay their first settlement. And it was like thir 30 million bucks, I think they had to pay. Yeah, it's nothing. And all. they were making like $3 billion, yeah. <laughs> three, $3 billion a year. They had like yeah. their, their record year after, right after that. And that's, crazy. that's when, when that happened, that sparked all those other companies to start up and start doing the same thing. Right, because they're, like, afford that they're like, holy shit, they just got away with this? Yeah. We're going to go do the same thing. Are you kidding me? I'll pay $30 million for every billion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right? right. No problem. That's more than selling the pills. I mean, you are the, you're the connect at that point. Right. So you make the prices. At Purdue, man, there was a time when they were, like, getting under investigation and they were starting to get, like, maybe it was around the 2007. I can't yeah. really remember. But you could literally, like, mail, your doctor would mail your scripts, and then they would send you the pills in the mail, and they were, like, not generic. They were the real ones, so you can make more money. And they would just, like, show up in your mailbox. Like, it was literally, like, Amazon, but with pills. You know <laughs> oh what I mean? Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, dude, it was nuts. And that, like, what he was saying, man, they're legal. So right. Right. I was getting pulled over, fucked up, driving, had pills all on me. Passengers had pills. The cops knew what was going on, but they just couldn't do anything. Can't do nothing. You had a prescription. Right. right. It's got your name on it. And then they, they started to, like, get hip to that. They started to see that. So then you would get pulled over, and they were able to count your pills. So mm -hmm. if you got them on Monday, mm. there should be this many in here. And that's kind of what they went to. But with the town I was in, man, the sheriff, the whole, like, police department, the mayor of the town that I grew up in is sitting in prison right now because he was selling crack and doing meth and heroin and all this shit. And the cops raided his house and he fired off a gun. So now he's in prison. That was the mayor of the town I grew up in. So if that, well, who is he? Um, I forget his, I did an episode. Ocala? On no, uh, Newport Richie. Oh, Newport Richie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He was all on the news and shit, but he's like, he was a drug act. He was selling drugs and he was doing prostitutes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's crazy. This story. dude was a fucking, a real Florida mayor. Hey, we, should look <laughs> that exactly. we should look that guy up. That's insane. I forget his name. I'll, I'll figure it out by the time we're done. But yeah, I mean the, I mean they were getting away with, I mean the government let them, they gave them the fucking the green light to well, do it the, by, by making them get away with a $30 million settlement. Yeah. Well, you got to think, man, that those companies like Purdue and you know, whatever, I forget all the other ones, but they're paying for politicians right. campaigns. Right. And, they're and back in campaigns with tens and hundreds of millions why, of dollars. Yeah, That's why Rick Scott was the, right. I, he was the what governor or something. Yeah. 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 He was the governor. Yeah. And he wouldn't pass the database. Yeah. 
because he's probably got someone on the phone with him back in the back saying, if you pass this shit, you're done. Because mm-hmm. there's yeah. billions, bro. I mean, right. There's money. And on there's the no, line. there's no, makes no sense to not have that database in Florida when they got it everywhere else. When like, we're, why? Why yeah. would you, hey, we don't there's want n- that here. Exactly. But bro. why? So, I think the company he he was partnered in too paid out like the biggest pharmaceutical settlement of all time. Purdue paid out the biggest, right? They yeah. just paid billion. They just what happened to Purdue? What was the? I they, don't even know what. The maybe latest. he was part of Purdue. They shut Purdue down. I know they that shut it down. Right? Of, this was recently. Yeah, it was because of deaths. I think it wasn't because like there was a medical thing. It was it was because people were dying. Like mm. our. There were, like I was saying, like eight Floridians. I, I mean, you could probably look it up, but eight Floridians a day were dying due to overdose of yeah. opiates. And mm-hmm. then I wonder what happened to the guys who own Purdue. The two guys, what was their last name? They ha- Their names are on like the most prestigious museums in New York. Yeah, like that's what got me, bro. Imagine how many bodies those dudes have right. from like selling those pills and killing people. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And then they have a fucking monument. <laughs> oh, yeah. They've, they've, they've fucking donated money to these museums and they have their names inscribed in some of the most like infamous museums around the, around the country. Well, that just shows you where our country's at. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like rewarded. I wonder where those guys are now. I don't know, but they're probably on a fucking island somewhere with a boatload of money. Like, you know they like... With the, they're hanging out with the CEO of Enron. Yeah. yeah, they probably had so many people like Epstein did that they could just like freaking, mm-hmm. you know, oh, you didn't know about this? Like, so right. they probably... They I had don't so know. much dirt on people. Yeah. And again, uh, addition with that is the FDA, They they the people that worked for the FDA ended up a year later working for them. They had people that were FDA that. employees that they hired to work for, for Purdue. Oh yeah, yeah. To approve their shit, right? To approve yeah, shit, yeah. yeah. I saw that. That's <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, man. So I just saw something recently too. Um, I forget where I saw. I saw it somewhere on Twitter. I think I might have saved a screenshot of it somewhere. But it was saying that currently seventy five percent of the FDA's review budget is paid for by like Pfizer and Johnson and Johnson. Right. That's kind of creepy, dude. Like. That's insane. Yeah, bro. That is that is definitely insane. I got to find That's it. That's 75? Yeah, I think that was it. Let me find it right now. I know that Florida, or maybe it was the United States as a whole, but had the most like opioid prescriptions prescribed. I think it was Florida. We had it the has most. To be. Yeah. <laughs> so they were literally just like giving the shit out. Yeah, bro. It's fucking insane. That's what Purdue did, man. It said, we're not going to tell you about it. We're just going to give you this pill. Mm-hmm. And it literally would make your pain go away and you oh, would yeah. feel good. But not knowing the whole time, like, right, you're going to sink addicted. your claws into them. Here it is. Biopharmaceutical industry. The bi- the whole biopharmaceutical industry provides 75, 75% of the FDA's drug review budget. That's posted in Forbes by John... La Matina. That's corruption right there, bro. (laughs) It doesn't get much, like, noticeable than that. 